Today is August 1st, 2024. Again, today. All day. Different comment, though. I was in Hartville. In Marks. Okay. People talking about different things in a game. Dollar Tree and Hartville. Okay. Oh, last Saturday, five days ago, I was at my class. There was somebody else. I didn't want to talk to her. And I think it's the very last Saturday that I hate to do it. Somebody said they've been watching it for four years. Serious people should be walking. Moved back to this area two years ago when the water was dying. Maybe. See how I take care of people and treat people. They dream of me having it. And that they are the last guy I dated with me. No one was talking about that about that from last Friday night when I went out to be with a friend. And we were talking about January 25th, 2019. How we were the day it was. That I had went down to the bank and there was weird or sand stuff and then I had went and paid off the payday loan. And so I made like the door fly and I grabbed it with my sore arm and how bad it hurt. And then I went out to the mall. They had 30, 40 men ready to last. While I had told that agent about Sarah, my one witness that was ready to talk to her. I went in and I asked her to call that agent that I was scared. Mom said she's got an FBI agent that protects her. I went back in and told Sarah to stay home. Went down to Dixie in the dark hotel big tour guys were sworn Okay. And Dave shows up in one of those shooting at AJ Tap to go as we go home. We go up to Street Pearl. Then we go home in the dark hotels at the end of the road. We walk through the gunshot there. They said next time they're gonna come over and kill me. I get in a hot tub and I'm soaking in it. My shoulder is killing me. Where he tore it up on the stairway. And he's still running around like crazy. And I go get my gun and I get in bed with him. I'm so afraid of him breaking me and killing me because they're down at the end of the road. Instead, I hear knocking, and there, Dave answers the door, and they're so loud that I goes through all the blue fog towers. The police are so she was innocent, and then it's not that far. They were talking about it at the station. Some guy was bailing this guy out from a team. He said, if she's innocent, I'll pay a fine or bail. I said, no, the police already knew she was innocent, and then I said, before, they never want to arrest her. They knew somebody else did something wrong before. Okay? So that agent was trying to put a big fine on her. First saying something about the FBI and the police went and left. 
when y'all agree to pay that fine and said no man would ever say a word to her again. She did they can't tell her not to say anything. He said the police already took her now. Okay, that's where I told him where even that place where that HLS they called it a big four day loophole. What he created. Well, the First Amendment, nobody can tell you you can't say anything about a judge. Please, like I've talked to the Star County Prosecutor's Office, Police Department's Office, and even criminal attorney. FBI is only hire police officer, the federal police officers. They do not have the authority to tell you you can't say anything. It takes a sitting judge to put a head on you, freedom of speech. Fourth Amendment, the right of the people to be safe and secure within their own person. Your people, places, and things, uh, not, uh, your pa- papers, places, and things, uh, to be safe and secure against all unreasonable searches or seizures shall not be violated. Your home cannot be violated. No searches, no seizures, but I'm on probable cause warranted. You have to have order of the people, places, and things to be searched and seized. Okay? To actually monitor your home because you have the right to remain quiet, a right to an attorney. Nobody can be in your home but protected by cases with statements in a quarter. Like Officer Reinhardt told me, even the FBI would go to jail for being in your home outside of protected by cases with statements. When t- they try to blame the Portage County Sheriff's up there, I went up to him. This all was none of our officers in your home. We have no knowledge of anybody being in your home or anybody else's home outside of protected by case. I said the statements, yes. I said the support the man, yes. And what these people are saying they did is illegal. So did the Ravenna police, so did the Star County Prosecutor's Office, so did the Lewisville police, the Aslan police. It's a fourth amendment. All right. And what they're talking about is the four-day loophole. Guy said after that, well, they could, the FBI could never say a word to it. I said, why is that? That big four-day loophole that agent gave to. He said, what's that? He said, from the time she uh, called the FBI, the hotline, it was four days before they talked to him. And in the meantime, that agent went around talking to everyone else but her. Spoke to everyone, told everyone that the FBI was alone. Okay? Witnessed by the police telling her and speaking to everyone that the FBI was alone. Admitted on a reporter line several times. And he talked to her, that he had already met with everyone, spoke to everyone. He bullied her. And then he wants to inform it with money and immunity, then threatens her. But then it already goes back. He's the one that was told they were involved. Spoke with everyone, been witnessed by the police, telling on her, then telling her that telling on her that she called the FBI for help, then admitted he did several times on the reporter line. He was the one telling. They could never say a word to him. April, was it 26, 28, or 24, Walmart on the strip in North Camp. Um, I go in and some guy's on the phone, because these people stole the kids. Um, he's on the phone and he, um, he said I listened to the reporter line. An agent did admit to telling on her, he did speak to her like that, they better do something about it. Why well, go to the canned veggie aisle? An officer in uniform shows up here, and I've been listening to all of this. We all know nobody drugs anybody at the drug cartel. There was a drug cartel in your home before. And we all know that one guy told him. I want to know how he heard it. Well, he's not the first police officer. That is admitted that they all know he told on me before. Norton Barberton, police were there, witnessed him tell him. They've told Danny I talked to him about that charge. 
investigators that worked the case. They all listened to the report and law. We all knew Karen didn't know what those people were doing. Officer Mark documented it was a drug hotel in my home before. Okay. Now, we're going to put it this way. People yesterday, ever since that Pete, that guy confessed and it was Pete and people found out it was Pete July 8th, 24, Altman Hospital Billing Department, that it was him, he called, he ordered those men to come here, he paid for everything, them to do all those things to me, he paid for all those people to do all those things to me, and he paid these people to call me around and say stuff and do things. It's him. And talks about Dave and just goes on with it in his mouth. Okay. And just tries to tell the people he made it so I can't carry a gun. I'll carry a gun. I'll go buy one and act like a five year old just because you say I can't have one. You ain't nobody but a drug dealer. The cops won't care. I carry an empty gun because I don't carry it. Only care, like I said, we all know she only carried a gun because Dave was controlling it. Oh, yeah, so I carried an empty one. Most of the time it was empty. That was separate from the gun. It's the second to load up. You can beat him with your first with a gun in it. Now wait. Well, Dave to be the weirdo with the first. It's a so weirdo. There's that gun on my arm. You're a weirdo gun. It's like it's not a gun. Kept screaming, get the gun, and get the gun. It's like it's not there. You're just scared. I'm gonna beat him with my purse. I have no problem doing the hoil. It's kind of weird, isn't it? I don't even carry a purse anymore. Oh, I don't. Alright, so at the gas station yesterday where that guy confessed it was all him at Altman Hospital Bowling Department, July 8th, 24, 9, 10 in the morning. I'd like to know why the police haven't arrested him. He's nothing but a drug dealer. Did he pay for all this? Dave said he hired Pete on the hill. The Kingsman from Texas showed up. Heavy set, large white men with long black hair. We all work for the King from Texas. We are his men. Uh, he sent us here to help. Dave hired us as a drug dealer. Hire Pete on his own. Who did he hire? Human trafficker. Serial killer. A child monster. A friend from the prosecutor's office. Okay? He worked there. Human trafficking is a billion dollar a year thing that they do. They make at least a billion dollars a year. Selling women and children for sex slaves and to be murdered. All these people that are taking Pete's money, where did he get it? He sold women and children for sex slaves and be murdered. They're taking blood money off a serial killer that's a child muster running scam to people. They're taking blood money off the dead children's bodies. They're covered in other people's blood. See, that's where people pulled in. Nobody thought it was funny when they found out who Pete was. He's no judge. He's a drug dealer. When to go to the bank, they said that Pete's money comes from killing women and children and selling them. And it's blood money. They tell them we don't want any of them. No, it makes you a mess less for me. Like people said, what are they waiting for? The guy confessed. I did all of this. He confessed. He said he don't even care anymore. His plan fell apart. What was his stupid plan? It was so illegal. It's ridiculous. 
Just like them having a guy impersonate a doctor selling people's information. HIPAA violations, they had automatic book of arrest there. But she was hung, I think I talked to her, a drug dealer and a cult leader and a man trying to kill his wife or an 18 year old. Okay. Well, today I've at me, North Maine. Not North Maine, Acme. This one. No, this one. I'm trying to think of the name of that road. It's up in Akron. And it's yours. I'm tired. A group of people pulled in where that recruiter. You know what his response was? I saw a bunch of men down here. Well, seven foot men. 300 pound, 300 pound men, large ones. One person opens her mouth, says one thing or two, or tries one thing to take care of itself. Seven foot large men. He is a, like they said, he's a recruiter. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a makeup person. They called him Karen's Prince Charming that rode in and saved the, on a white horse and saved the day. Her knight in shining armor. Do you realize how many lives he saved? How many, I sent those men down here and walk around Walmart, the mall, and screaming at them that they take care of them themselves. I may have still been getting hurt in my apartment. I just go to stores and malls. To do. A group of people showed up and said nobody can tell anybody they can't say a word. No, it takes a judge. Like my st friend from the Stark County Prosecutor's Office, criminal attorney, police officer, that agent is only a higher police officer. You don't even have an authority to ask this inquiry. But he already told them it don't matter. He's only born. Okay. People later on today said, do you realize her ex-husband gave up everything? To go work in a drug cartel. No, he did. He gave up his country, his God, his religion, his brain job he wanted for years, every worldly possession almost. Wife, his children, his grandchildren, to go work for the doctor. They got the country. I'll tell you what, somebody's paying for him to jump south between the Philippines and heaven. Traveling 3,000 miles to work for the country. He's moving home. You fly between here and Mexico three or four times a year, and you don't have a business on it. The friends are going to want to know why. It's not a thing. See, the whole thing of it is, it's so ridiculous. Any of this happened. January 13th, 23, I went out to meet with a friend. He said, I work in a factory of race horses professionally on the racetrack there are store dealers. I know somebody who knows somebody who was one of those store dealers went to them. They said that all the higher drug dealers know you didn't know an agent was in debt to that drug dealer. So John was in debt to Pete. How did Pete know when he walked in that FBI agent being a drug dealer in a human trafficker? He took a hit of destroying somebody to draw and beat and rape them. Photoshop showers and stocking it. That's where I could hear it. He knew that. How did he know that that agent wanted to wrestle? 
on the spot, dude. I said, I heard him. I got an 18 year old girlfriend. And crazy call Lingo making up pathetic reasons. She was a faker 15 years ago, so we waited 15 years to kill her. Huh? Think about that. It was pathetic, stupid, and a circus show. And they were admitting to, like I said, a heinous crime. They were admitting to several life sentences. Why didn't they arrest Pete? I don't want to hear the shit that you wanted Pete's boss. Because you could arrest arrested Pete, got him several life sentences on his confession, and offer him a plea deal in less time. He gave up his boss. They weren't after his boss. They said the king was here several times. The roof rock that he drove by. But the Muslim woman showed up like an eight hours. Hmm? Pete's a human trafficker. He is a serial killer that is a child monster. That's selling women and children for sex slaves to be murdered, and that's where he gets all his money. Run. Like they said, the dark hotels run scams on people, photoshopping and washing and hook them up and tell them to say something stupid. And these roof rock take blood money off of dead people that he killed. It's all for privilege to rape, torture, and murder. Hmm? That's where he's getting all his money. By killing people. I would like to know. Even officers, sheriffs that I talked to online, I was there, they want to know why I placed him in West Asia. December 2nd, 22, one of the guys watching me came in and said, the one that George tried to have help yes, for she didn't get any money on it. said, no, it's the one guy from the case stealing every dime. This is the first day. October 4th, 23, where that Michelle Lawrence said they were stealing for them. Huh? They were in mass when screaming out that one was known for them. October 6, 2020, uh, women were talking that that Lauren is one of the guys' girlfriends, and she's claiming she's one of the days that we're here and my daughters. And he's been stealing for her. November 20th, 23, they were talking about that agent taking a payoff and stealing my money again in World War II. Akron, they were screaming last fall, it's that idiot stealing our money. They call the agent of my case an idiot all the time. Who the hell makes fun of a rape victim that the human traffickers are running a scam on? FBI agent John. Who the hell tells on a victim? scared out of her mind, being drunk, being raped by the cartel, asking for help, and they make fun of the rape victim, and the <clears throat> cult that hired him reassures him he's going to go along with him before he talks to that victim for any made-up pathetic reason. They hire people, they are to be arrested for the mission of their crimes. All oh, those people today, where they said that a recruiter went around telling everybody what was going on. Because nobody can tell anybody, they can't say anything. That's why those men showed up and threatened people in stores. We have a freedom of speech. And I'll tell you what, Ray Kruger, you are an angel sent from God. The men you showed up called themselves Karen's angels to save the day. And I give you the biggest hug in the world. Saved others chasing them off the stores and malls. They scattered when they saw them. That's what that angel was to do. You know, those people um, outside viewers today, we looked it up. thing they had her was wiping off one of her clothes on. See, that's what they told that nurse. The only thing they had to do on was brushing off one of her clothes on. Or adjusting herself. The guy said, it's sick. I said, no, it's funny. She simply wiped off one of her clothes on. 
He said, that's it. He said, no, it's really funny. They didn't have anything else. Uh, the bruise is going off for racing. In fact, they have been driving me up and told me to say something stupid. They have Photoshop washing in the other room. And then there's tapes of no one doing it, no one saying it. I'm just simply wiping stuff off. January 22, a group of women came down from Ravenna. Um, and they told people in a gas station we made a big mistake being out of home. We came to verify she never said she did anything wrong before. And when she wiped that water off, she went straight down. Didn't expose herself. As if anybody would care about that. And, pe and those people were right there. There was teenagers that had it. Other people in town. Hmm. A simple action of brushing something off. Everybody was in clothes, water, flour, if you're cooking, sugar, salt, whatever, you're in your cooking, anything. You're eating, it's supposed to be like it all. A simple action. The worst thing I ever did for him when he was bent over in public. They can wipe that one out. An old man showed up and tried to say he had sodium pentothal reports. Drugged me up and told me to say something about a long night down and about why. And that Dave debunked it that they only seen the back of my knees and I was dressed well. So he made that whole thing up. Totally changed it. Um, so the worst thing I ever did for him when he was bent over in public. They can wipe that one out. Opposite mark. May or June or not to. I was in the back of my knees to go up and see what it means. Like they said, if she ever moves away, they'll have to tell the local police that the drug cartels run and scam some people. It's a big drug scam they keep telling you that. They mark these people for falling for them. Then they find all these other lower educated people that don't think they have rights. Pete and his cartel are trying to prove to people they don't have rights. And these people are so stupid they hand everything over. Did look at them and say, we were hired to stop you. My God, we've been cyber stalking through the button cameras. My God, we photoshopped our showers in the other room. My God, we sold kitty porn on your grandkids and your kids going party and da 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 da. We had bruises and we were throwing up, and then blah 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 blah. It was us drug beat, rape me, you know, and drug you up and told you to say something stupid. They'll give us everything or else we'll put you in jail. You realize how psychotic that sounds? Are you very psychotic? Oh, we got a doctor selling our information. HIPAA violations. Like I said, it's a guy impersonating a doctor. They go to jail, one to five years, a quarter million dollar fine. Get the idea? The crack box that almost killed me 22, 25 years ago, retired of that. I don't even remember their name. But then I had that other lady using my insurance. People were talking about that too. Some other woman was using her insurance. We all found out what was wrong with her before. Nobody finds this funny. No, it's medical malpractice medication. It almost killed me after a bunch of surgeries. They were put off my insurance. Huh? It's documented by the police and by all my family and physicians and Dr. Eli. In 2002, the Altman family physicians and Dr. Eli, the police documented it in 2018. My whole family defended me. This is the biggest scam in the world. I dropped a little story. They've been telling people that we respect a lot of dealers. He wants you to think you have no rights and he can do this to you. Everybody turn him in. Then you think about that agent. Why didn't he arrest him the first day for hiring a headman to harm somebody, destroy him is 10 years. They get hurt as 20. They die in flood. Racketeering, regular charges, drugs, threats, rape, 
attempt extortion under money laundering. What did he do? Racketeering. Mob shit stuff. Mm-hmm. Sextortion, trouble shopping, washing, kitty porn of my grandkids going potty found out the proof. Sold them on porn sites, sold me on porn sites. Mm-hmm. And I've heard about all kinds of crazy stuff that they're supposed to have me, me drugged up and told to say stuff about. Where I had bruises all over me, never talked to anyone. I thought the well water was killing me. You have no memory. Like they said, they used amnesia drugs on her. She'll never remember. They can be as mean as they want. What part of amnesia drugs they don't understand, she'll never remember. i never seen her talk to anybody before that man. And if nobody would have said a word, thought it was a well water killing me. I kept going to the doctor and it was verified by all my family physicians. I had all the signs of being drunk being married. Bruises I couldn't explain, severe swollen personal infection, headache, throwing up, dizzy, almost passing out. And I thought it was the well water I was washing in those cell tanks. Because it looked like poop water. I thought it had a clay in it or something. I was trying to make sense of it, but you gotta think I was also in a drug haze. You know, I was watching this one show and this one new girl, the drug card out, I messed with her. And she said they kept me so drug down for the moment. The stuff they did to me, she just sat there. These people are more of a, they had to put her in like a special camp for like a year, year and a half with other girls like that. And um, get counseling. Make sure she's safe and okay. They put their letter back so they wouldn't try to get her out of it. That's what they usually do with you. They protect it. Fourteenth Amendment's illegal to withhold protection. It's illegal to take somebody's money. But due process of the law, you have to be found guilty and sued for it. Or straight out of it. They try to blame the Portage County Sheriff's for this. I went up in like 2020. They said, Miss all what these people are saying they did is illegal. It was none of our officers in your home, nor did we have knowledge of anybody being in your home outside that protected life. But the, outside the protected life case, was, I said, well, statements, yes, that would be illegal. I said, it's the Fourth Amendment, yes. And what these people are saying they did is illegal. Or then a chief of police called me in the same thing. It was none of his officers. Okay? And that's one place. None of, nothing what these people did is illegal. Talk to Officer Reinhardt was. Even the FBI would go to jail for being in your home outside the protector like case with statements. And an agent had agreed to protect you and have statements of threat of life or they would go to jail. See, that's where Tuesday and Alliance girls were talking and said a drug dealer did all this. And they had no right in their home. They were even, they even raped and tortured them. And it was a drug dealer doing this. That agent's job was to arrest that drug dealer. And Dave for hiring him and all those idiots with a circus show and get me the hell out of here. Not make fun of a victim being scammed by a drug dealer. And fed me back to the drug hotel and told on me. Witness he told on me by the police, admitted on a report of lying several times. They even told Danny and talked to him at that church. Hmm? Everybody knows he told on me before. See, that's where I tell you, I think it's a racket between he and John. The uh, cartel hit comes in. He sets it all up, scares him bad enough to call the FBI. John picks it up, goes reassures the villains that he's with them. Myths on a reporter line. Who is that person? That he met and he, that he had met with all those people and told on them. Makes them beg for their lives so they're scared of him. Less than reform and open account with money and immunity and then threatens them and then seals that money's victim. The victim's money. It's a racket. And then Pete had. 
stealing money from the government. Like Sheriff David said to me, uh, Mike DeWine's cousin, if he stole your money, he stole others. He's too arrogant. He's doing that for people. And you get the money for working the case and only for working the case and you can't withhold it. That's what the Star County Prosecutor's Office, criminal attorney, and police officer. And he doesn't have authority to ask his dick He can't talk to you like that. He can't bully you. He can't even go tell him. And he doesn't have authority to even ask anybody to step on It's not a job. I'm telling you, it's a racket they got going on stealing. They have, like I said, they have yelled out now and they said, idiot stealing no money. That's how they refer to the agent in my case. I'm not with this.